The first atomic bomb was dropped on Hiroshima. Both the humanity! The fires of frustration and discord are burning in Let us city. not forget for a moment the toils and efforts that lie ahead. They say that those who forget their history are condemned to repeat it. This is the History Lessons Podcast with certified financial planning practitioner Patrick Huey, author of History Lessons for the Modern Investor and your guide to financial wisdom in the past, present, and future. You ready? Good. Let's get historical. Historical? Indeed. This is the History Lessons Podcast for the week of September the 4th, 2023. Hashtag at HL, the number 4, T-M-I. If you're a modern investor seeking some historical perspective, once again, you found the right place. This week, we'll be at the county fair and answering in the form of a question. But first, the news. Yeah, in the news last week and the end of summer around Labor Day got me thinking about county fairs and carnival rides just before news broke that we lost summer's ultimate promoter, Jimmy Buffett. More on that in a minute. The ISM Manufacturing Index increased to 47.6 in August, but it was the 10th month in a row for contraction of the manufacturing sector. This was the Ferris wheel. It just keeps arriving at the same place over and over again. Meanwhile, real GDP growth slowed to 2.1% in the second quarter of 2023, below the consensus estimate of 2.3%, as well as below the original estimate of 2.4%. This was like the hall of mirrors. Things look better or worse depending on which way you turned. Next up, non-farm payroll employment increased by 187,000 in August, below market expectations of 200,000 and following a downwardly revised 185,000 in June. No one was screaming as this roller coaster dipped as it increased the odds of the Fed leaving interest rates alone next month. But then personal income increased by 0.2% in July, which is below consensus estimates, but still fairly robust. But wait, won't consumer strength keep the Fed on the path toward higher rates? <sighs> Somebody get me off this roller coaster ride. So as the carnival lights dimmed and the cotton candy melted away, Our economy continued its wildish ride with the Fed tightening its monetary seatbelts and interest rates potentially popping up like carnival corn. I hope you enjoyed your summer and the ride didn't make you sick. Next up, we'll charge the Wayback Machine and head back in time for this week's history lesson. But first, this word. Interest rates are rising and your annuity purchased in the last decade might not be keeping up, which means your financial plan may be falling behind. So if you own a deferred annuity, fixed, indexed, or variable worth more than $250,000, now is the time to review it and make sure it is doing all that it can for you and your financial plan. Let us help you keep your retirement on track. Introducing Victory Independent Planning. VIP turns complex financial matters into clear and confident solutions. So you can relax and enjoy retirement whenever it arrives. Get the annuity review kit now. This complimentary kit includes a variety of checklists, resources, and eBooks to review the fees, features, and flexibility, or lack thereof, in your current annuity contract. It will even help you assess your overall investment goals and the people who are offering you advice. Get the kit today, because you can't teach an old annuity new tricks. To learn how VIP can help you review your annuity, click on the link in the show notes or go to victoryindependentplanning.com slash annuity dash review. That's victoryindependentplanning.com slash annuity dash review. Sign up for peace of mind today. Alexa, charge the Wayback Machine and set it for the year 1984 AD. Charging way back machine. On September 10th, 1984, Alex Trebek hosts the first daily syndicated episode of the game show Jeopardy. The original quiz show with clues presented as answers and responses given in the form of questions was created by Merv Griffin. 
the show had several runs on NBC from 1964 to 1979, but it really took off when it entered syndication. Over 8,000 episodes were produced, and it won 33 Daytime Emmy Awards. Jeopardy! also made it to the list of the 60 greatest television shows of all time. Additionally, it was recognized with the prestigious Peabody Award for its role in celebrating knowledge and promoting learning. George Alexander Trebek, OC, was the beloved host of Jeopardy! for 37 seasons, from its revival in 1984 until his passing in 2020. Now, in Jeopardy!, knowing the question is more important than knowing the answers because the game format requires contestants to respond in the form of a question. In investing, understanding the right questions to ask about your investments, such as risk, fees, and performance, is crucial for making informed decisions. Likewise, here are five lessons from this source, a book and podcast for someone seeking current investment knowledge through stories of the past. That's right. What is history lessons for the modern investor? Number one, double trouble. Just like in investments, in Jeopardy, the higher the risk, betting more money on a daily double or in final Jeopardy, the greater the potential reward. This parallels a concept of risk return trade-offs in investing. Higher risk investments may offer higher returns, but they also come with greater potential losses. Think about that before you buzz in. Number two, know it all. In Jeopardy, contestants must have knowledge across various categories to succeed. The best money managers take inputs from across the investment universe and all of its various styles. Number three, adaptability. Contestants need to adapt their strategies based on the game's changing dynamics, what other players are doing. Similarly, investors need to adjust their strategies and tactics over time as financial markets and personal circumstances change. Number four, timing does matter. Contestants on Jeopardy need to buzz in at the right moment to answer the questions. And similarly, timing is crucial in investing. Buying and selling assets or choosing not to do so requires proper timing and tactical planning to execute properly. Number five, emotional control. Jeopardy contestants need to stay calm and collected under pressure. In investing, emotional control is vital. Reacting emotionally to market fluctuations can lead to impulsive decisions that may harm your long-term financial goals. In summary, ask the right questions and understand the game you are playing to keep your retirement and finances out of jeopardy. Wayback Machine Disengaged, returning to the year 2023. Finally this week, as we mentioned, it's on to the mailbag. You've got mail. And this message came in via Substack. We, we lost Jimmy Buffett this week, and I know you were a fan. I was. Proud Parrothead. What song of his or songs offer the best lessons on investing or financial plan? Look, we lost one of the great storytellers last week. And like his cousin Warren Buffett, he's got some great wisdom to pass on regarding investments and personal finance. Okay, they aren't really cousins, so don't write me about that. Anyway, his lyrics can sometimes contain some subtle messages about financial responsibility and even life choices. So here are six of my favorite songs that might offer some insights. Number one, Banana Republics. Choose your retirement plan carefully or become just another expat or tourist hustling the senoritas while they dance beneath the stars. Number two, it's five o'clock somewhere. Lesson here, work-life balance. Number three, got to go with Margaritaville. Well, it's primary about, primarily about escaping reality and enjoying the laid-back lifestyle. It does touch on the concept of wasting away in Margaritaville, which I can interpret as a cautionary tale against excessive spending and financial irresponsibility. Number four, changes in latitudes, changes in attitudes. Song discusses the idea of adapting to life's changes and challenges. Number five, a pirate looks at 40. This one can serve as a reminder of the potential consequences of financial mismanagement and the importance of making responsible choices. Please don't make enough money to buy Miami and then piss it away so fast. And finally, breathe in, breathe out, move on. Lesson, 
resilience, and maintaining your perspective. Not directly related to finance, but the song's message about facing adversity, staying resilient, and maintaining perspective can be applied to life, as well as managing financial setbacks and challenges. <clears throat> In the end, thanks to Jimmy for all the great years, and I hope he enjoys his time with Gordon Lightfoot on the great yacht rock station in the sky. Enjoy your cheeseburger in paradise and fins up. Well, my fellow historians, that's it for this week. Check out my book, History Lessons for the Modern Investor. It's available on amazon.com. And be sure to do all the social stuff, please. The liking, sharing, following, all of that. We're available on Substack, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and YouTube. So wherever you get your pods or your videos, Please like and follow us. And keep sending me messages for the mailbag. Till next week when we'll take another rollicking romp through the past and make an investment in your financial future with history lessons for the modern investor. See you next week.